G'day fellow modelers, Mr. Handy back with another handy review for you. This is going to be reviewing uh, Swords uh, re-release of the F3B slash C Demon. Uh, this is a re-release of their earlier F3H uh, and F3H2N. Uh, these two of course uh, in two different boxes and now they're releasing the same aircraft in uh, one box but with the options of doing one or the other um, the uh, your marking options as you can see here are uh, VF213 the black lions and VF14 which is the top hatters um, so and then you've got the 56 and 63 so um, again for sword uh, we get this nice open-ended box the uh, Cover illustration is very, very nice. I really love that. So, um, it's nice to see this re-released because these were getting very hard to find. Uh, so um, I bought three when they first came out and uh, I wanted at least one more. Uh, so uh, it was nice to see. It was a welcome re-release of uh, one of their previous kits. So. Uh, as some of you may or may not know, Sword is a limited run uh, company. Uh, their stuff is really, really good um, for a limited run. And they usually do some uh, mainstream stuff that hasn't really been touched. Uh, and then uh, some of the obscure stuff. But uh, let's get into it. So you get the same basic instructions as we always with Sword. You get this nice big uh, history on uh, the demon uh, you get into your parts breakdown uh, there is indeed photo etch uh, and resin included in this kit uh, so and then you have your full parts breakdown and then we get right into it i really love how sword uh, does their instructions they're usually they're very very clear and i love this uh just the the the, the way that they look the illustrated versions it's this absolutely beautiful so um you get two versions of the seat in this one you get the older version and the newer version uh so the older version would be for the uh, uh 50s version and the newer would be for the, after the 60s so uh check your references of course uh for your instrument panel there's a nice color layout and uh, detailed instrument panel there's your cockpit uh, here's your main, your forward main landing gear, and then your option of whatever you're going to do for the cockpit. Uh, you have a uh, resin uh, burner can. Uh, so, and then you basically, again, instructions telling you what to do. So, a uh, nice option to have the tails uh, in uh, whichever direction you want, uh, drooped or not. And then, of course, this is always nice to have to show you the angle at which they're supposed to be in uh, sitting position uh, and then again more detail uh, a lot of photo etch for this which is nice uh, bits and pieces that you kind of need um, there's your finished product your landing gear of course uh, your fuel tanks and uh, of course pylons for your sidewinders and sparrows uh, which is rather interesting uh, and then you get the option sorry you get the option for your uh, sparrows uh, you get the earlier sparrow version and then you get the later sparrow uh, i don't know what's up with this drawing though um the, these look like they might be uh, magic <laughs> missiles or a fall missile or Raphael missiles but uh yeah no they are definitely supposed to be aim nines i don't know why they have the two different types there but and then you have your refueling probe. Uh, you also have this, again, just a recopy of what's on the back of the box. Uh, nice color rendition. Uh, your color callouts down at the bottom uh, in FS numbers, which is nice. And then again on here. Uh, and then, yeah. So, um, again, like I said, this is a re release uh, of Sword's original demon kit. So here's your body, main body sprue and some of the weapons. As you can see, you get your earlier sparrow and your later sparrow. Um, 
I'll kind of see if I can get them up here. Uh, let me zoom in. So, as you see, there's your earlier sparrow, uh, and then there's your later one. The earlier looks kind of like a javelin a little bit with fins. So, um, the body again. This this again. You have to remember that this is a limited run kit. The uh, the detail is a little soft. And I think it's just because it might be a re-release. It's a repop, so that might be why the detail is a little bit uh, soft. Um, and then here we have our Sidewinder missiles, and then the front of the cockpit with the cannons. So uh, there is no uh, interior detail. Oh, actually, I lied. I absolutely lied. There is a little bit of detail on the inside of the cockpit. So, um, not much else to show you. A little bit of detail on the inside of the main wheel door. Uh, but yeah, there's your main body. Um, and then we have the second sprue with the wings and everything else. Uh, so... Uh, as you can see, there's the uh, detail on the wings. The, again, the uh, the detail, the surface detail is not too bad. So it's light. It's it's not you know like you're, we're not talking uh, we're not talking uh, Matchbox here, which is nice. So uh, let's get to the instrument panel. So there's your instrument panel, and it's it's not bad. And then the uh, cockpit is on the other side. So there's your cockpit and then some of the details. So, um, and then you got your wheel wells. Uh, there's your wheel wells over here. A little bit of, you know, detail here and there for the wheel wells. All in all, just a... Uh, Pretty plain with regards to the detail. Nothing too extravagant. Um, they did provide these extra fins. Um, so it looks like uh, you might have fins for um, sidewinders and sparrows. It looks like. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. And only one is provided. So it's enough to do one missile, basically. Um, but here's the resin. So... And of course, here's your burner can. And as you can see, detail's not too bad. So, um, this is the later uh, ejection seat. Um, so, not too bad. And then this is the earlier version. So, if I'm not mistaken, I think this earlier version is one that was used in the Cutlass. So, it's going to be of use to me because I have a Cutlass and the uh, bang scene and it really sucks. The Fujimi Cutlass. So, um, we have to remember when we're judging this kit, especially that in 70 second scale, the only other kit right now for an F3 that I can, uh, that comes to me on the top of my head is the... M hard kit and yeah that's not all that great either so and then of course here's our photo watch so we get the, the nice thing is you got your wind fences um there's some more fences just for the front uh slats area of the uh, wing and your air uh air brakes and then of course the uh, uh the pull rings for the ejection seats uh, i'm not too sure what the other stuff is for but um as I said, the only other one in 72nd scale right now is the M Hard kit that I can recall. And yeah, that's not a great kit either. So this is definitely uh, a, a definite improvement over the M Hard kit. Uh, here is your clear pieces. And unfortunately, the clear pieces on this one are a, a bit of a letdown. Um, they, as you can tell, they're, they're not super clear. They're, they're kind of frosty, is 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 basically what I'm gonna say. They they just kind of have a frosted look to them. Um, they're not super clear. They definitely need a good cleaning uh, and a buffing, and probably dipped in uh, uh, 
future uh, maybe uh, polishing as well but so and then our op deckle options uh, you only get the two of course so and as I said it's uh, the black lions and the top hatters and uh, the decals aren't too bad um, they all seem to be in register um, but uh, again you only get the two options uh, there are other decal options out there um, uh, who is it now uh, extra decal and uh, print scale do um, some decal options uh, for um, the uh, demon uh, so uh, if you want some other options they are there um, the earlier versions of this kit from sword had some uh, nice decals with them uh, one of them had the uh, I think it's the Tomcatters the VF 31 uh, which is uh, uh, they had their iconic uh, uh, Fritz the cat throwing the bomb uh, on the side so um, that's one of the reasons I bought a bunch of these originally and I've always liked the look of the the demon is kind of a cool looking plane uh, it wasn't all that great uh, from what I've read um, it uh, it was well liked by its pilots apparently but it wasn't uh, it wasn't very well liked uh, that much so uh, and then of course it was replaced by the, the phantom so uh, but uh, when you take a look at it it just looks like a uh, an angry sparrow I think so but uh, yeah anyways that is um, that's the review for swords 170 second scale f3bc uh, again like I said this is a re-release this just came out mm, probably about a month ago uh, so it's nice to see this re-released I really wish that sword would uh, re-release some more of their stuff uh, there's other kits that uh, they did that are really nice I would like to see those again like their uh, P-47Ns and uh, uh, some of their Japanese fighters as well. It'd be nice to see those re-released as well. But uh, that's it for this review. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Um, again, if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments uh, and we will uh, try to help out. Uh, I'm always up for suggestions and uh, looking at new stuff. So um again thanks a lot for watching uh please like and subscribe and uh have a wonderful weekend and uh, we'll see you in the next one happy modeling